Are you stuck, stuck like a stick in the mud? Can't move forwards, can't move backwards. Something highly dramatic happened to you. Maybe a lover left you for your sister. It happens. Or maybe your boss had an affair with you, stayed with his wife, and you got fired. It happens. I have to tell you, I talk to people all the time who are stuck. You know who they are. No matter any time you see them, somehow the conversation all gets back to, well, what was I going to do? He was cheating on me in the church. He had an affair with his secretary. I had to leave him. And now I have nothing. Now, the problem with that is it happened 15 years ago. Same story as the Italians would say, same stetta canzone over and over again. Almost to the point where you want to avoid them. You may notice it in other areas. Somebody gets hired at your place of employment and they go on and on about how unfair the boss at the last job was. Focusing stuck in that last job when they need to be focused on what? The new job. Now I'm gonna tell you, there is nothing that has ever happened to you that hasn't happened to somebody else. I mean, there are like seven million people in the world and you're the only one who got cheated on? Honey, I don't think so. You're the only one who got used and abused? Highly doubt it. Not to mention the seven million, but the thousands and thousands and thousands of years of history that we have going on. You're not alone. And yes, I agree, you have a story. Probably none like exactly anybody else's, but still, someone else somewhere out here has gone through it. And let's face it, when you go on a rampage and start chopping and chir chirping about your story, 80% of the people that you're talking to don't give a good two hoots. And the other 20% are like, shit, I'm glad that didn't happen to me. They don't really care. So why are you carrying all this around? Talking to people who don't give a crap, making your story one of a kind when it's not. And I am gonna tell you something about love. You're not gonna to wanna to hear it. But as your friend, as someone who believes in you, I'm gonna tell you, love is unpredictable. Just the way life is unpredictable. Love sometimes kicks you in the ass. Sometimes people do you wrong. It's not easy. I understand that. That's what love is about. There's no guarantees that when you love someone, they're going to love you equally the same amount. You don't say, well, I love you four cups and I, I need four cups from you, okay? The recipe of love is profoundly mysterious. That's just part of the game of love. And I don't, I don't like that word, a game, because I don't like to play games and I don't like people to play games with me. But the truth of the matter is there's a lot of unknowns, a lot of variables that may leave you alone, crying in the truth that it just didn't work out. Now, the question I have to ask you is, how are you going to handle that? And if it hasn't happened to you yet, I can guarantee you it's going to happen to you. We can't control other people. We can't control love. That's why they keep coming up with love songs. I mean, you would think there are enough love songs, as Paul McCartney said years ago, but there aren't, because we still can't figure out the chemistry of it all. We can try. 
but I would rather try and teach you to be resilient, to stay on your game. Don't quit. Are you willing to do that? I mean, what would your life be without the idea of somebody else in it? What happens when that occurs? You can't move, you can't think, you can't do anything but sit there. And though I agree that there are moments when you need to do that, I don't ever recommend going out for revenge sex, one night stands, he did my neighbor, now I'm gonna do my neighbor's husband. I mean, that's just like crazy. Woohoo, woohoo. That's never gonna end up right. When I say that you're open, that's not what I mean. But have you ever looked on the highway? Maybe you were driving in a car or a passenger in a bus or in a taxi. And you know, the sad part is it's easy to look down and if you've ever seen weeds, they will grow out of concrete. They will grow out of nothing. No fertilizer, no water. You know, it's easy to be hateful. It's easy to be negative. It's easy to be revengeful, angry. I'm gonna get them back. I, I know one couple, in fact, I know a lot of couples, I'm not gonna give names, that are so revengeful that they're staying married just to wait till the other one dies to get the money. They would rather stay stuck, stay in revenge mode. You son of a bitch, you're not getting, no one else is getting this house. No one else is getting this retirement. I put up with you for 25 years, I'm gonna stick it out. Usually that's the person who dies first because it is seething. It is drowning you in darkness, in weeds. They keep coming and coming and coming. What happens when you have weeds? It will overtake the roses. It will overtake the daisies. It will overtake the ivy. It will overtake your soul and your life and your joy. It's weird how that happens, isn't it? It's like nobody teaches us to be hateful. No one teaches us to be angry. No one teaches us to say, you treated me unfair, now I'm gonna treat you unfair. Just go, I wish you could go into a divorce court sometime and just listen. Like not be in there, but listen to how much pain and how people are stuck in what was done to them. Are you stuck today? Is life passing you by? Are you staying with somebody for all of the wrong reasons? Especially if you don't have kids. If you don't have kids, get the F out. I mean, seriously. There's a lot of people out there in the world. I mean, I don't know whether there's one soulmate or a bunch of soulmates, but I'd sure give it, you know, the good college try. If you have kids, that's another issue. If you have financial issues, I know women become instantaneously poor when they get a divorce. I'm not telling you to become unstuck and do something drastic. But I am asking you, imploring you, to ask the honest question. What's my motivation here? And how am I responsible for my unhappiness? Am I motivated by revenge? Am I justifying all of my mean actions, my ruthlessness, my rude mannerisms? You know, 80% of all communication is nonverbal. So it really doesn't take a lot to be a biatch. You know, sometimes you have to stop the button on your biatch, dial it back. Pause the cause. What behaviors are you displaying? Why are you displaying them? 
What is your motivation? If your motivation isn't to love, then it's wrong. If your motivation isn't to make the world a better place, then it's wrong. I mean, it's not rocket science, people. And what's your responsibility in this drama that you seem to kind of like to stay in? Let's face it, if it wasn't a payoff, you wouldn't be there. Maybe your payoff is revenge. Maybe your payoff is money. Maybe your payoff is anger. Really? Is that the way you want to remain stuck? Seven million people out there in the world, you're not alone. You've been there, I agree, but you can get out. You can get unstuck. Learn to forgive. I know. <laughs> well, you know, I may forgive, but I'll never forget. You're not forgiving. It's a lie. And the biggest lie is to yourself. Yeah, well, I might not be here for a long time, but he's going to know. I'll get him back. Mm -hmm. I'll just run up those charges. Yeah. I'll do it. Mm hmm I won't be home when he comes home at night. I'll be out with the girls. How long can you live that kind of life without going totally insane? If, if you can learn some forgiveness, and it takes a while, if you can understand that if you could let it go, it would pass, if you can get busy and step outside of your own self-pity, you know, one of the best ways to deal with depression is to go out and give. And it doesn't have to be to, you know, money or even time. It just give of yourself everywhere you go. Open the door for somebody at the grocery store. Lend a hand to somebody who has packages. Help somebody at work if they don't get it, if they're new. Give. Find a support system that's not going to mm, continue this whiny, wah, wah, wah kind of behavior. Step out of the limited vision of being stuck and see where you could be. If you're having trouble forgiving yourself, if you're having trouble moving on, I want you to listen to this poem about what you're missing by being a nasty, revengeful person, by letting yourself be stuck. I think this is beautiful. Open your heart, think outside the box. Love is a challenge, meet it. Love is a mystery, unfold it. Love is a gift, accept it. Love is a song, sing it. Love is a journey, complete it. Love is a promise, fulfill it. Love is beauty, praise it. Love is a goal, achieve it. Love is a puzzle, solve it. Love is sorrow, overcome it. Love is a duty, perform it. It's your duty to be on this planet, to love 100% to not be stuck in the past. Take from the past what you need to heal, what you need to be better at love. It's your birthright. It's your inheritance. Unstick yourself. Don't sell yourself so short. Remember, as always, follow your heart just as long as it's not above your head. See you again, same place, same time. God bless.